Hello, Skylar Collins here. I just wanted to talk about, um, I guess, somewhat of a, a big change in my life the last few months, really in my family's life as well. Um, about three months ago, I had, well, okay, over the last over the last year, uh, from time to time, such libertarians at Blue Rockwell, Tom Woods, Karen DeCoster, all these other guys from BlueRockwell.com and, and other places have been uh, talking about uh, paleo or primal or caveman dining um, and the benefits of that. So um, I started to think a little more seriously about it about three months ago. Uh, I don't know, maybe about four months ago. And uh, once I understood the premise, and the premise was our bodies evolved to their present day in over three million years. What kind of diet did our bodies evolve on? Um, we're not complete carnivores, and we're not complete herbivores. You know, we're omnivores, I guess. And uh, so, what what did our diet entail? What was it our bodies ate while at the same time evolving through? Um, years. It turns out it wasn't processed food, it wasn't grain, it wasn't processed sugars, it wasn't a lot of the crap that we eat that is uh, available today at fast food restaurants and, and so forth. So anyways, thinking about this, I realized, you know, and, and, and as I started to study the research, I started to study what guys like Mark Tyson and Rob Wolf have written about, I realize this just makes sense. This is just plain, flat, makes sense. That I should be eating as a human being should be eating. I kind of look at it as, as if, if I was a horse, what would I be eating? I would not be eating chicken. Um, right, I, would not, I would not be eating things that a horse did not evolve to eat. Well, I'm a human being and I'm an animal, much like a horse, so what should I eat? It turns out, and this is kind of a, what I understand, it's kind of a, uh, a new and growing field of evolutionary research, uh, evolutionary nutrition. It turns out fruits, vegetables, meat, fish, and eggs, nuts, and berries, and in whatever quantities, depending on, depending on um, I guess, your ancestry and the region of where you lived and the, the availability of fruit, the seasonality of it and whatnot, is, is what was eaten, right? And grains are, are rather, in, in the evolutionary perspective, rather um, new introduction to the human diet, eight to 10,000 years. Now, there's a lot of, you know, I can I can tolerate grains. My whole life I've eaten grains. I've had bread and, and tortillas and corn and rice. So I can tolerate it. I'm not, I'm not gluten intolerant, you know, a lot of people are, something like 10% of, of human beings are gluten intolerant. Um, I'm not, I can tolerate it, but that doesn't mean there's not long-term effects. It doesn't mean that it's not a form of poison in my body, that it doesn't occupy, it doesn't force my body to do things that it, it is then um, preoccupied with. So, so that I can't process food right. Brain, um, and you know, and I'm not a scientist, so I can't really spit it out the way a scientist would, or these other guys that are, have been uh, more involved with it longer than I have. But it seems to me, when I understand grains, preoccupy our bodies with processes that 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 are good for us. So we give her the grains as well as dairy. Um, the best, you know, mother's milk is absolutely the best thing baby can have for as long as possible. There are cultures, there are cultures in the past and alive today that breast, breastfeed for six, seven, eight years. It's, it's absolutely one of the best things kids can have. But that doesn't mean that cow's milk is good for us. Um, the, you know, something I believe is 60% of human beings are lactose intolerant. I mean, it's just not something we should have. Of course, that's been in our diet here for a few thousand years, or goat's milk, or something like that. Anyway, so, 
I decided, you know, this makes a lot of sense, so I'm going to make a change. Um, and it wasn't for weight loss. I weighed 215, and I weighed 215. I'm six foot tall, 215. So, you know, I had kind of a little bit of a gut. I had that ever since I was married. So the last four or five years, I weighed about 215. But the purpose of me changing my diet was because I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't want long-term chronic diseases when I'm older. I didn't want diabetes. I didn't want heart disease. I didn't want all these things that are gonna that are gonna reduce my power, my physical power when I'm older. And if it's something that's preventable, then I think it would be pretty dumb of me not not to prevent it, unless of course I didn't like myself or something. But I do. So. You know that, that when I started, that's that's what I was. That's what that was the reason. The motivation was, you know, I want to I want to prevent these things later on. It's also kind of a health insurance policy in that regard. It's going to save me money later on. Um, and a lot of people, when they're older, they they've got medical, a lot of medical problems, a lot of different things that cost them money. If you don't have insurance, or even if you do, you've got premiums you got to pay. I'm like, you know, it's not that big of a, a light a, a changer for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change. Um, and my wife, you know, I explained it all to my wife, and she really liked it. She, she's been thin and she's small, so she, for her, it wasn't about weight loss either. It was just about the, the long-term outlook. Anyway, so three months ago is when I, I started, stopped eating grains, stopped eating breads, other than you know the occasional birthday party, I'll have some cake, and I'll really enjoy it because I know I'm not eating it all the time. I also stopped drinking milk. Now I'll still have cheese on different things from time to time. I still use like ranch dressing on my salad, so I'm not, I'm not perfect. But as Mark Sison says, as long as you're 80%, you're good, you're on the right path. And the results that I've seen over that three months is 25 pounds of weight loss. I'm down to 190. Um, I've got great energy. I can go, I can go a day without eating, and I feel fine. In fact, um, within that time, I've also been fasting every Sunday. And I don't, you know, other than trying not to forget that that's my plan. I don't, I don't I'm not hungry. My body is not does not feel weak during the times that I pass. Um, it, it's been really great, and, and I'm sure that's contributed to the weight loss as well. Um, but it, it, eating right the rest of the time, and eating until I'm full, and eating when I'm hungry, and not, not worrying about calorie restrictions day to day, has made fasting so much easier. So my weekly calories have obviously gone down. Um, but I'll, you know, I used to have a habit of eating cereal before bed. Now I eat two hard-boiled eggs. Um, it's, it's great. It satisfies me. You know, it's just old habits die hard. I guess it's, it's something I like to do. I, I, I also I, I take uh, I take fish oil vitamin. I take an, an in, I take uh, vitamin D and I take a multivitamin. I got to take that with food. So I take my eat the eggs and then I take that and it all works out. Um, so I, I just I wanted to kind of promote that and say, look, just try it. One month, two months, three months. Try it a year. Whatever. Just don't buy bread and just buy fruits and veggies and you'll be praying a lot more stuff. You'll be eating a lot more stuff raw. Fruits and veggies, you know, I make shakes, eggs, bacon, all that stuff. Really good animal fats are really good for you, it turns out. So, you know, I just wanted to say try it and if you're somebody that's not, you're not satisfied with your outlook, um, either your current weight or, or maybe where you'll be years down the road, give it a try. It's not going to hurt. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, I've kind of been a little radical. I've been I've been buying mostly um, organic and stuff. I've decided to um, to not not do that as much, and and it's budgetary reasons. But you know you'll be you'll be preparing a lot more stuff. Um, you know and that's why you, you you've kind of got to be okay with eating raw and whatnot. So anyway, that's uh, that's where I'm at, and I've, I've lost 25 pounds in three months. It's been great. I tell everybody I know. They look at me and they say, "Wow, you look great. What happened?" And that's that's the truth. That's what happened. I just changed my diet. I don't I don't really exercise. I'm gonna start riding my bike some more. Um, I've definitely got the energy to do it. So it's the Primal or Paleo or Caveman diet. You can Google it. You can go to MarksDailyApple.com and see it there. Um, he talks about. It. He's got great blog posts all the time about different foods that are either Primal or not Primal, that kind of stuff. So MarksDailyApple.com. Paleo diet, uh, the primal blueprint, these are all great stuff. So I recommend you to lose weight and uh, you'll feel great. See you later.